Hi, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's all right today. On our prayer request, Rhonda Sutton is going for a test and is having anxiety. Pray all goes well and for anxiety to go away. Pray for the people that were on the bridge that collapsed in Baltimore. Pray that they can find all the people who are missing and that they will be okay. And also pray for the families of the, the ones that didn't make it. Also, let me put that down. Okay. Leela still has some blood in her eye. She's going for another scan in a week. Pray for good results. Continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Continued prayers for Katie. Lena's daughter is throwing up blood and her heart is in AFib. They're taking her to the hospital. Pray she'll be okay. And they didn't have a hospital. They live in Michigan. And they didn't have a hospital that had any uh, a bed. They're having to take her out of state. Isn't that something? I don't know if COVID's really bad up there or what. But that's something. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Isaiah 53, 4 through 7, and then 10 through 12. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shears is silent, so he did not open his mouth. Now 10 through 12. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong, prolong his days. And he, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong. Because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors, for he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my allergies are awful now that uh, mowing season has started up and we mowed our, our yard uh, yesterday. So... <laughs> Stirred everything up real good. Okay, our uh, devotion today is entitled The Passion of Christ. Before Jim, Jim Caviezel played Jesus in the film The Passion of Christ, director Mel Gibson warned that the role would be extremely difficult and could negatively impact his career in Hollywood. Caviezel took on the role anyway, saying, I think we have to make it, even if it is difficult. During the filming, Caviezel was stuck by lightning, lost 45 pounds, and was accidentally whipped during the flogging scene. Afterwards, he stated, I didn't want people to see me. I just wanted them to see Jesus. Conversions will happen through that. The film deeply affected Caviezel and others on the set, and only God knows how many of the millions who watched it experienced changed lives. The Passion of Christ refers to the time of Jesus' greatest suffering, from his triumphal entry on Palm Sunday and including his betrayal, mocking, flogging, and crucifixion. Accounts are found in all four Gospels. In Isaiah 53, his suffering and its outcome are foretold. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. All of us, like sheep, have gone astray, but because of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, we can have peace with God. His suffering opened the way for us to be with Him. What aspect of Christ's life most impacts you? How does His suffering affect you? Precious Savior, it's hard to express how grateful I am that you suffered, died, and rose again for me. Thank you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. 
I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great morning and I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.